Hello and welcome to Explain 11. I'm Andy, and this is the procedure series for the Columbia or Cessna 400. Um, so uh, I hope you watched the first episode, and this is the second episode. First episode was general limi general and limitations. <coughs> First a disclaimer, I'm not a pilot, I'm not a certified flight instructor, this is not an instructional video for real, uh, this is just for flight simming and for fun. So, And you also need to download the pilot operating handbook because I'm going to walk through that on the in the series and talk about the stuff that's in there. Um, but anyway, so we're stuck here, stuck. We are at the key, uh, West Point Airport here. Uh, which is very cool scenery. Also in the link, also in the description. This plane is also in the description, in case you want to watch it. Uh, first, wa uh, watch the first episode, uh, unless it's done there. It's not a long, I think it's 19 minutes, so it's pretty short. So um, this will be talking about the emergency procedures. We'll do it on the ground, not in the air, and we'll do the stuff as we talk about it. So, so <coughs> emergency procedures in the pilot operating handbook is section three. And there's a lot of stuff there. You and the basic idea without with a missed it because this is a single pilot airplane. You have to know them by heart, and I do not know them by heart. So just <laughs> bear with me. I I don't know these by heart. I guess if I only flew this plane, I would learn them. But um, I do fly a lot of different planes in flight simulator, so I tend to not be able to to learn everything. But first, some in airspeeds for emergency operations. So ending after uh, failure after takeoff, wind flaps up position will do 180 knots, 105 knots indicated. Wind flaps in takeoff position is 95 knots, so that's good to remember. Maneuvering speed, the maximum at uh, maximum gross weight, 1633 kilos, uh, that's 158 knots indicated. At um, 1270 kilos is 135 knots indicated. <coughs> And it will decrease at three knots for each thousand feet above twelve thousand feet. A pressure altitude, uh, precautionary landing, uh, eighty knots with engine power flaps in the landing positions. <coughs> maximum glide flaps up is one hundred eight knots. Remember, and maximum gross weight and at twelve four twenty four is ninety six knots. So the high, the more we weigh, the highest we have to go. The faster we have to go. Have to go. <coughs> Uh, minimum rate of descent flaps up is um, at max gross weight 87 knots and at gross weight 82 knots. So that's good to remember. Uh, max, want to get furthest max slide or do you want to go down slowest? Uh, max minimum rate of descent. Approach speed. Uh, I'm guessing you probably. It depends on what you want to do. So what are the good numbers to remember? 108, 96, 87, or 82. So approach speed without power. Uh, wing flaps up is 98 to 108 knots. Uh, wing flap will land in position at 80 to 90 knots. <coughs> so, um, and then it's basically lost a lot of checklists, uh, which you have to remember in your head, which I don't. But if you look at the um, first one, emergency procedure checklist. So we are in page four now on the third section. So three, four, engine failure during takeoff. Uh, so we'll set our plane up as if we were flying along here. We're taking off and suddenly everything stops. Or we get a malfunction indication and some sort. So throttle idle. Brakes apply or just brake. Suppress the toe brakes. Uh, release the momentarily of skidding recurs and then flaps up. So we should have it like there. We'll go flaps up. Uh, back in fuel off, off. A mixture cut off. Fuel selector off. Uh, ignition switch off. This is that's behind here, but we don't have a key, and that's the only thing I don't like about this model list. But there's no key there for some reason. Oh, I'm doing something wrong. <coughs> uh, left and right master switches off. So these ones off. Uh, that's the any failure during takeoff, and that's when you have enough when we can actually break. In case you can break, set it up again. 
So engine failure immediately after takeoff. So below 400 feet. Uh, if your airspeed, then keep the airspeed as 108. If you flaps up in position, or if 95 is your takeoff position. Backup fuel pump is go off. Mixture cut off. Fuel selector off. Ignition switch off, and that's over there. Wing flaps in landing position. Um, <coughs> left and right masters off. So, and then you glide and 400 feet, you don't have a lot of time. You just land where you can land, basically, I guess. So, pretty simple. Set everything up again. Oh, funny that like you wouldn't, shouldn't idle the throttle below 400 feet. Oh, anyway. Engine failure during flight. Airspeed blast glide is 108 with flaps up. Uh, vapor suppression on. Okay, this is the way it should be set on flight. Uh, vapor suppression on. Um, mixture full rich. Going to full rich. Fuel selector switch tanks. That's when you need to turn on the vapor select, uh, vapor suppression. Heated indication, indu induction air on. I don't know, we don't have that. It's a simulator, I think. Ignition switch, where size set both left and right. Back of fuel pump is arm, I'll arm that. If the engine, then no, we'll try to restart. If the engine doesn't restart, we'll back up fuel off. Throttle halfway out. Um, mixture full lean, then rich it until then you start. So full lean, and then you'll go until it starts. If the engine doesn't restart, still you perform the forced landing checklist. And if the engine starts, you perform procedures after an engine restart checklist. So it's good to know. Loss of oil pressure, we'll check with the proper ranges uh, on temperature and land as soon as possible. Throttle reduce as minimum required power, land as soon as possible, be prepared for loss of engine power and prepare for emergency landing. And then there's the procedure after engine restart, if we get the engine started. So airspeed appropriate to the situation, throttle minimum for level flight at safe altitude until engine warms up again. A failure analysis will look at Determine the cause, why it stopped, improper fuel management, engine with fuel pump failure, um, improper mixture settings. So, Forced landing and ending out of partial power uh, checklist. So, um, one glide, airspeed best glide, which was um, 87, no, no, sorry, uh, 108 or 96, depending on weight. Uh, proper control full aft, wing flaps up, radio transmit made a or squawk 7700. Uh, seat belts and shoulder harnesses fast and secure, loose objects secure, backup fuel pump and vapor suppression off. off. Mixer idle cutoff. If the engine is de developing partial power delay, this as soon as long as possible. So, so mix the fuel off. Um, fuel sector is off. Ignition switch will turn off, wing flaps and landing is assured, you call full flaps landing. And landing flare initiate at the appropriate point to adjust descent rate and touch down normal landing speed and stopping apply heavy braking. Precautionary landing with one engine. Set everything up again. Um, so seat belts and shoulder harnesses fastened and secure, loose objects secured, wing flaps take off positions, uh, airspeed 95 to 105 knots. Select so landing area, fly over area, determine the wind direction, and um, I'll check everything clear. If you're going to master switch, is off. See that it goes off. Get a nice little stuff on a primary flight display here. 
Boolean flaps, landing position, landing. Um, airspeed on way you do not left and right mass switch is off just before touchdown. Make um, uh, landing land slow as practical, no sap attitude. We'll go mixture off then, ignition switch off, and then stop. Way to brakes. So, pretty simple, not, not very hard to, to do. I don't know why you don't want to mix the rich. Why don't you turn off the mixture? I don't know why you didn't turn off the, um, the fuel selector. And then some more uh, information on an enduring fuel pump, partial failure, ditching, um, that sort of stuff. Engine fire on the ground is good to know. Backup fuel pump off, mixture is cut off. Um, so I guess this would be the way you would probably would set off on, on the ground. And there's some taxi power there. So backup fuel pump is off. Turn it off. Mixture cut off. Fuel selector off. Throttle full open. Ignition switch hold and start position until fire extinguishes. Parking brake release if parking brake is engaged. It's not. Uh, fire extinguisher obtained from the cabin and evacuated pl airplane. So. If we have an engine fire in flight, we'll set that up now. So engine fire, flight, um, so backup fuel, with those on, uh, backup fuel pump and vapor suppression off, we'll first check that those are off, mixture off, fuel selector off, throttles closed, he ignition switch off, we'll go there, Heating system off, propeller control full aft. Right master switch off. So this one. Um, because the left one is for uh, communications, nav, and PFT. So this one. The right one goes off, this one stays on. Good. It's actually modeled. It's kind of cool. Air speed 170, 180 knots. If fire extremely reduced at this speed, increase speed to level that level that extinguishes the fire. If sufficient altitude exists, land perform force landing checklist, which was we'll repeat this. So, um, glide airspeed best glide was this 108 or 96. Propeller control full aft check. The wing flaps up check. Uh, radio transmit. Uh, Mayday transponder 7700 ELT activate. We don't. I don't think the ELT is that simulated. Actually, I could be wrong there. <coughs> Seat belts and shoulder harness fastened and secure. Loose RP secure. Backup fuel pump and vapor suppression off. Check. Mixture idle cut off. Check. Uh, fuel sector off. Check. Uh, ignition switch off. Check. Wing flaps. When landing secured, full flaps are recommended. For so check speed back is down. It is left and right. My switch is off. And flare and then stop the break. So pretty, I mean, pretty simple. Uh, so. That Firing flag, wind, <laughs> and then there's some more stuff on uh, electrical fire and flight, cabin fire flight. We're not going through everything. Wing fire and flight, spin recovery is interesting. Throttle idle, full against the rod against the spin, elevator full forward, ailerons full against the spin, and then wing flaps retract if you have those on. Inadverted icing is good. Detection, check surfaces. So we'll try to look at these. It's like, oh, no, darn, we have wing eyes. Well, that's good. That's good. Not good. 
Pito heat, propeller heat on. We're going on those two. Just one button that's simulated for some reason. Um, course versus course, altitude change to level with temperature is above freezing, defroster, divide to all heated after defroster, propeller control, increase, we'll go here. And manifold pressure monitor A, so it looks good. Uh, drop in manifold pressure may be indication of induction of icing. Uh, increase total with settings as required. Heated air induction on. Elton static source, that's actually modeled on this version, that's here. Oh, the heat, heating too, okay. So, if we run it, Elton static source. Um, open. Um, flight characteristics and a margin of safety. That's the approach speed. Appropriate amount of accumulation flap setting. If there's heavy ice build up on the wheel shield, a gentle forward slip or a small S turn may improve forward visibility by allowing use of side windows. So, landing altitude, attitude, limited, limited flare, land at higher speed and in a flat attitude sufficient to prevent nose wheel from touching the ground first. And some stuff on landing with flat tires, um, speed rate malfunction if it's on down position, don't do much if it's off, so pull the circuit breaker. Circuit breakers are down here. Electrical system overcharging both alternates the online images emitters show excessive excessive charge, which is here in systems. Um then go check the cross tie switch off, which is is. Um effect alternate mass switch cycle off and then on. This one, and on. Uh, if it clears, that's okay. If it doesn't clear, remain. We'll go out. The effect alternator mass switch off. So we'll go say this one. For instance, and we have nothing. Let's hope we don't fail that one. I don't know if in real life you fail that one. We still get the MFD working. Cross tie switch on. Oh, actually, that's probably why. Turn that on. Okay, so then it works. Sorry. Actually, it was mumble. Cool. Uh, what else? Um, then there's some electrical stuff which you can check. Uh, malfunction of autopilot and auto trim system, oxygen system, and that sort of stuff. Circuit breaker panel is pretty easy, and that's not simulated in this version here, so you can't use that. Um, amplified emergency procedures, this is good. Uh, this is uh, 3.15. So engine failure and forced landings. The most important thing in any emergency is to maintain control of the airplane. If an engine failure occurs during the takeoff run, the primary consideration is to safely stop the airplane in the remaining available runway. The throttle is reduced first to prevent momentary surging of the engine. Raising the flap reduces lift, which improves the ground friction and facilitates facilitates braking. In emergency d in involving loss of power, it's important to minimize fire potential, which includes shutting down and closing electrical and fuel systems. Good. Engine t failure after takeoff below 400 feet. When an engine failure immediately after takeoff, time is of essence. The most important consideration in this situation is to maintain the proper airspeed. The Air airplane will be in climb attitude when an engine fails and actually decays there rapidly. Therefore, the, most, the nose must be lowered immediately and a proper glide speed is established according to figure 3.3. It may not be possible to accelerate to the best gli distance glide speed due to the altitude limitations. In this instance, lower lows maintain the current air speed and land straight ahead. It is unlikely there will be enough altitude to do any significant maneuvering. Only gentle turns left or right to avoid obstructions should be attempted. If there's no obstruction, it's best to land straight ahead unless there's a significant crosswind component. Flaps should be applied if airspeed and altitude permits since it can provide at least a 10 knot reduction in landing speed. Engine failure after takeoff, above 400 feet. With an engine failure after takeoff, there may be time to uh, employ modified restarting procedures. Still, the most important consideration in this situation is to maintain, maintain the proper airspeed. The airplane will be in climb attitude when the airspeed engine fails. Airspeed decays rapidly. Therefore, the nose must be lowered immediately and proper glide speed established according to figure 3.3. It may not be possible to accelerate to the best distance glide speed due to altitude limitations. In this instance, lower lows 
between current speed and laid land straight ahead. In flight engine failure, the extended extra time if ordered by altitude may permit some diagnosis of the situation. The first item is to establish the proper rate of descent and at the best glide speed for the situation, as shown in 3.3. If altitude or another factors permit, an engine restart should be attempted. The checklist items 2 through 7, engine failure during flight on page 3.4, ensures that fuel supply ignition is available. The most likely cause of engine failure is poor fuel management. The two more frequent errors are forgetting to change the fuel sector or during extended descent failure to re readjust the mixture. So, figure 3.3 three is uh, distance gl best distance glide is 108 or 96, and uh, rate of glide is 87 or 82. Uh, what else? Then we can check. Um, there's some more stuff on back of fuel pumps. Uh, a very good amplified checklist. Very good. Read that. Best slide distance, force landing stuff. Uh, very good sections on pretty much everything you need to know about emergency situations. I'm not going to go through them all because that would take a lot of time to read. But um, check it out, read it, uh, practice it on the ground like this and that sort of stuff so I'm gonna leave it there so thank you for watching this uh, a disclaimer again don't use this for real aviation it's not for real aviation just flight simming I'm not a pilot or a certified flight instructor um, next section we'll do is the normal uh, procedures section which will be walk around and take off and flight and landing and everything by the book um, so check that out it's kind of cool um otherwise it's pretty much pretty much done here so if you like this channel please subscribe if you like this episode please hit like button leave a comment or share and i will see you soon everyone take care i'm andy have a great day everyone see you soon bye bye